Estabular fractures. Anatomy. The weight of the body goes from the spine through the sacroiliac joints into the pelvis to the hip joint and the femurs. The hip joint is a ball and socket joint. The femoral head is contained within the estabulum. The estabulum is rounded in shape and covered with cartilage which forms the articular surface. The labrum is a ring of shock absorbing cartilage that surrounds the estabulum. The sciatic nerve comes out from the greater sciatic notch and is close to the estabulum and it can be injured. The estabular fractures commonly occur due to high velocity trauma. Types of estabular fractures Anterior wall fracture Anterior column fracture Posterior wall fracture Posterior column fracture Transverse fracture T shape fracture Associated both column fracture Posterior wall fractures are the most common estabular fractures The obturator view will clearly show the posterior wall fracture However, CT scan is the study of choice. The posterior wall fracture may be a simple fracture or it may be associated with dislocation of the femoral head. In case of fracture dislocation, reduce the hip immediately and fix the fracture later if the fracture needs fixation. Always check the sciatic nerve function. The perineal division of the sciatic nerve may be affected. Check dorsiflexion of the ankle and toes. Posterior wall fracture can have marginal impaction where pieces of the cartilage is impacted inside the joint. Reduce the fracture, lift the cartilage up and apply bone graft behind it and add the posterior plate fixation. Complication of estabular fractures, post-traumatic arthritis, avascular necrosis, AVN, which is death of a segment of a bone due to interruption of the blood supply, myositis ossificans, ossification occur at the site of the injury lead to restriction of movement of the joint. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.